Let's talk about digital makeup. I've been a makeup filter creator for about three years now. I've been mostly creating makeup looks since I started creating filters. I absolutely love trying out different looks in augmented reality. It really allows you to get creative and experiment with looks that might have been more complicated to try in real life. It also has given me ideas to try out makeup looks that I may have never tried before. I like to typically play it safe and wear winged eyeliner and a little blush and a little lip liner and that's about it. But with AR, I'm able to really test the boundaries and just try out different colors and different styles that I may have not felt comfortable trying before. So that's something that I just love about digital makeup. It just allows you to try whatever you want out without any commitment. I love AR makeup. It's a really fun thing. And so I thought it would be great to put together a workshop that shares how you could use the 3D makeup template inside Lens Studio and make your own makeup filters with a very simple, easy steps. So the makeup in Lens Studio is really easy to work with and to modify using a program like Photoshop or Procreate. And with that, you could customize your own makeup looks just using the uh, template that they've already created. If you start working with it, you'll find that it's probably really easy to use. And so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we'll jump into the tutorial. So to get started making a makeup effect, the first thing we're gonna do is go into the asset library and we're gonna look for the 3D makeup helper. If you don't see it, you could type in the word makeup and it'll come up over here. There's both a 2D and a 3D makeup helper. I prefer the 3D one, so I'm just gonna import that here. So now that it's imported, after you click that button, you should see it pop up over here. What it'll say is put under the main camera, and by main camera, it means this camera that's here. There's another type of camera that gets created in the scene if you create a different type of effect using segmentation or you know, maybe like screen images, that's an orthographic camera. So you're gonna to wanna to put this under a main camera, not the orthographic camera, so that it goes onto the face. And so you could actually toggle on the camera of the model or yourself by using the webcam button, which is right here in the center here. And now you could see how the effect looks on your own face, which is me right now. And so if you want to modify this makeup, what you'll have to do is go over here under head binding and click on makeup with masks. So now by clicking on this, by click select, so just to reinstate how I did that, clicking on head binding in makeup with masks, we're going to click on by right clicking or control click and go to select. Now in this section, you could adjust the colors of each of these uh, makeup pieces. And let's say you want to bring that down. You know, you see, you could kind of get the idea of this could be adjusted this way. But you could also adjust the colors. And let's say we want to make this something, you know, a little bit wearable. We're going to do something kind of like a brown, like a smoky eye. And then we're going to do another darker smoky eye for the lid. And then the eyelashes would keep that color. But we could, you know, later on I'll show you guys how to do like 3D eyelashes. But for now, we'll just work with those lashes that they have. The lipstick, a little bit darker. We're gonna make that a little bit more of a natural color. And then the blush, we're gonna make a little bit brighter. And now keep in mind, the settings that they have here most likely are meant for all skin tones, so I would potentially leave them just as they are. Um, but let's see, now let's say you wanna edit this template. So now there's many ways to create makeup inside Lens Studio. You could import, you could make more face meshes and you could customize the makeup on them yourself outside of using their template. But by editing their template, it gives you a great way to start just learning how to work with textures in Lens Studio. So what I usually do is I will look for the texture I wanna modify. So let's say I wanna modify this lipstick. I'm gonna right click on this select. It's gonna bring me to the lips texture in my resources panel. I should be able to open this in a finder folder. And then I'm gonna bring this into Photoshop. Now that it's in Photoshop, you could see the mask. So right here, it doesn't look pink or anything, it's black and white. It's black and white because you're gonna be filling in the color wherever the white is and the black is gonna be like occluded. It's gonna be the blocker. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of change the texture and see how it looks each time I save. So you can see that, that just a slightly adjusted lipstick, just a little bit. And so I'm gonna again go, and this time in Photoshop, I'm going to, using my brush, I'm gonna go into symmetry and turn on vertical symmetry. So whatever I do on this side will reflect on the other side. And I'm just gonna make the lipstick slightly larger all around. And now I'll save it. And so now it's a little bit more full looking. But I also like to kind of fade the center of it like the way we would with real lipstick and lip liner like this Let's see how that looks 
so it's like a little bit more natural could go a little bit more there okay that looks really nice so that's how you edit the textures you could also even blur this by going to blur gaussian blur we're going to set that to one And now the lipstick looks even more natural. I'm going to go back in by going back to my makeup with select and I'm going to go to the lip color and make this even more toned down. And so now for the lip gloss, I'm going to take that down a notch, the blush, and I really think that the eyeshadow could be done a little bit better. So I'm going to go and edit that one next by clicking on it actually typing in shadow I think let's see which one that is click right click shadows 2 so I'm gonna look for shadows 2 show and finder and open that up so now I really didn't like how it was so close inside here so I'm gonna turn on symmetry in Photoshop vertical symmetry and I'm going to erase this part That looks good. I'm just going to take it now and smudge it just a little bit. You can only smudge one side at a time. And you can see it still needs to be a little bit wider. So I just kind of work from my eye and just see how I like the layout of the makeup. And then I continue to adjust until it goes the way that I, I feel like it looks most flattering. So now you can see it looks it looks pretty nice on that right side and clean. So I'm going to actually take it and just reflect it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to paste this. Like I'm going to click this here and drag it to the plus sign. Then I'm going to select all. And I'm going to right click and then flip horizontally. And then I'm going to erase that side. So now I basically have the same side duplicated. And saved it and now it's even on both sides and the makeup's looking pretty good and these eyelashes are a little bit I could prefer them to be a little bit better so I might just tone them down so it's just very soft and so I think I like it um, let's see what the lip gloss looks like I think we might be able to use that lip gloss and make it into a different kind of shadow So I might actually use this lip gloss and tone down the colors here. So we're going to just tone that down so it's just a little bit softer. Okay, that looks a little bit nicer. And so by using the black, I'm just going to, so it'll be just a subtle gloss. Okay. And so now I'm just going to add a highlight where the nose is, if I could find it here. All right, let's see where that goes. Sometimes I just like to make a dot and kind of see how it affects it. Okay, so now I'm just going to take that down a little bit. Okay, so now we just got like a little nose highlight, which looks kind of cute. So that's the makeup template and that's how you modify it. Um, you could just basically just to summarize, you after you add the makeup template, you go to makeup with masks, then you click on the makeup color setup and right click it, click select. Then in this area, you could adjust the colors of each one if you want to modify them. And then you can by right clicking on the texture, click select, then go to where it shows up on the resource panel or you could search its name here then right click on it and go to show and finder. Then you could take it, put it in Photoshop and modify it. And every time you modify it, just click save and it'll update automatically in the program. And so that is how you modify the makeup template. If you'd like to add your own face uh, makeup that's outside of the makeup template, like your own textures, you could go back into head binding and go to add a face mesh. 
and I prefer the face mesh to the face mask comparison, but you could see how this is similar to that makeup template, but it's just one solid mesh. So you could put a solid makeup on it. You could put face tattoos on this. Um, you could use shiny textures like the way this one looks. And what I usually do is take the depth settings and turn them off. Then I go and I could adjust this to whatever setting you want and make it the set to add, turn this down. And now you could have something like a very glossy face, you know, like it's, it's really fun to work with this one. You know, now it looks like you have like a glossy makeup look. And so now let's say you wanted to add some tattoos. So I'm gonna add another face mesh, select that one, turn off the depth settings. And we're gonna, for the texture, I'm going to face texture here all right so what we could do is let's just say we want to do um, a tattoo like that and we're gonna pick a font that's kind of fun if I even have any fun fonts let's see if I have any good fonts here no my fonts are really bad let's just say it's that font and then we're gonna do like a something like this. I know it's not too exciting, but all right, let's save this to my computer. And I'm going to go to the finder. I'm gonna take my tattoos, just find wherever you saved that, and just bring this into here. Well, it's automatically in there. And now I'm gonna go into this like that. And then instead of texture here, we're gonna replace that with the tattoos. You could search it up here or you could find it. And now we have our tattoo. So as you could see, um, whatever you're gonna put there, as long as it's on a transparent PNG, it will go on the face. So that way you can add tattoos, you could add makeup, whatever you like. Um, I like to use it for tattoos a lot. And I also like to use it for like glossy textures like I showed before. If Even if you wanna just make the eyeshadow glossy, that's something that is really fun to do. So let's just, try that out for a minute so if let's say we wanted to make just the eyeshadow glossy how would we do that well we'd probably need to use a mask texture to mask away the rest of the stuff or we'd have to make our base just covering the eyes so let's try the shadow so okay so by using the mask texture of the other makeup masks the makeup with masks you could add gloss to just one specific area like just the eyes so let's try in our makeup textures, let's try each one and see how it looks. For the opacity masks, for lashes. Lips. The lip gloss is kind of extra, but cool. And uh, let's see, shadow number two. So I like shadow number two because it kind of is like a very subtle gloss. So I'm gonna just take this, and one setting that I like to do is just try to maybe turn this off, the eye closing off. It's a little bit softer. Okay, and I'm just gonna move this one up here. Oops. Okay, so I moved the gloss. So basically everything's in kind of a layer order on the left there. So like you could see that the makeup, wherever, if the makeup with masks is uh, below these things, that means that it's on top of it. So you wanna take your other face meshes with your eye, with your tattoo or your gloss and put that behind the makeup with masks. And so now the gloss is just like very muted behind it. You see, it's just very subtle. It looks really nice. Okay, so that's how you work with makeup in Lens Studio. I hope this was helpful. 
um, I will do more tutorials on how to create the textures using Procreate in another lesson. But for now, this is just to show you how to use the 3D makeup template and how to modify it in Photoshop pretty quickly. And also how to add your own face meshes with custom makeup. All right, thanks for watching.